Voyager 2 is now streaking out of the solar system, but scientists are continually amazed at some of the pictures sent back after its flyby of Neptune and its unusual moon, Triton. CNN's Dan Blackburn reports on the avalanche of information gathered during the space probe. Neptune's extraordinary moon, Triton, moved back into the spotlight as scientists reviewed the latest pictures from the Voyager spacecraft. This close-up of Triton's surface shows what appear to be signs of volcanic activity that could be continuing to the present day. What you see are large pockets caused by some sort of eruption, but not from volcanoes as we know them on Earth. On Triton, it would be more like a huge erupting geyser hurling out debris at more than 110 miles an hour. The lava is made up of nitrogen or methane, which is heated beneath the surface and then explodes upward into a shower of ice crystals and gas, and all of this in a super cold atmosphere. Even the scientists think it is pretty bizarre. This is a crazy idea. It's probably wrong, but uh, it's the best we have at the current time. Triton is only the second moon in our solar system to show evidence of continuing volcanic activity. The other is Io, the astounding moon at Jupiter, which has eight volcanoes hurling sulfur dioxide into its atmosphere in an unparalleled pyrotechnic display. The only planet with volcanic activity, of course, is Earth. Meanwhile, the scientists now say that Neptune's magnetic field is dramatically tilted at an angle of 50 degrees from the planet's axis. Only Uranus has a similar tilt. What this means is that any aurora, or northern lights as we call them on Earth, would be located somewhere around Neptune's equatorial region. The scientists also played this tape of dust particles striking the Voyager spacecraft as it crossed Neptune's ring plane. And new calculations show that winds on Neptune range from a rather mild 40 miles an hour up to raging gusts of more than 700 miles an hour in the area around the huge storm system known as the Great Dark Spot. Yet to come are what scientists say will be the very best pictures of Neptune's increasingly complex ring system. Dan Blackburn, CNN at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena.